Ordinance 73, amend city code chapter two, section 2.29, delete golf course advisory, introduce. Uh, I just, a uh, quick, this was uh, as a result of our discussion at the last uh, uh, work session, we put it on the main agenda uh, to consider adoption. So this is a very simple ordinance to uh, delete the golf advisory. Uh, Mr. President, uh, this is brought on to <coughs> unprecedented responses from a wide variety of people. Um, I would uh, move that we uh, table or delay for a period of time uh, our action on this. I would like to see us return to this topic on uh, our meeting of May 18th, where we can hear a report of why the previous meetings did not occur, and also what the plan is going to be for the future golf course operation. Is, is there a reason we're going to May 18th? We can't, uh, the summer's gonna be half over, we just wanna drag it out to next year, or what's the plan? What do we think of? That we come back on the 18th of May and hear what that is. That gives us two months to put something together. Two months to put together why the golf course advisory board didn't meet? They never had a form. I can tell you in two seconds. And a plan for future golf course operations. I'm wondering why what we're doing is really uh, kind of mixing up our, our, our horses and carts here. Uh, we're, in essence, uh, it almost seems like we're throwing a grenade in the room before we find out who's there. Uh, it would be nice to. Uh, to have a plan in place that we can install immediately upon the elimination of this if we choose to do that. I would hate to see this uh, eliminated and we are, we're sitting here with nothing. Uh, we're at the beginning of the golf season. So that uh, as we look at this, there, there could be a variety of reasons why the meetings did not occur. It could be a scheduling time, it could be all kinds of different issues. Uh, but to find out what those are so that we can work around them and get on to other things. I can reiterate that I am not a golfer, but I feel very strongly that the golf course is a tremendous asset for our community that should not be lost. And I, uh, I feel that we should uh, take our time, review this, come up with a plan, and then act for it. Dan, do you have something? Yeah. Well, just a technical. Uh, issue. You've got a motion to table. A motion to table is not debatable. If you're debating it, you don't have a second yet either. The only thing you debate on a motion to table is the timing. And again, Councilman Gwen clearly defined the timing. I mean, you can vote the motion to table up or down, but you shouldn't debate the merits of uh, abolishing or whatever the Golf Advisory Committee. That you do when you bring it up again. The motion to table is pretty specific in the city attorney vote. Well, you, you table, you discuss when you're going to table it too, but you don't discuss the merits. Now, if you want to vote up or down, if you vote down his motion, then you can discuss it anything you want for as long as you want. Well, you know, about, um, the Gulf Advisory Board. He has made a motion to, to, uh, to table him to May 20th, so that he made a very correct uh, motion to table. There's a second, and there isn't a second, and you can continue to debate all you want. I just so we have a second. I'll second that. Okay. No. So we can discuss the time frame on when we want it to. Discussed it to, to May May eighteenth, and it was as one. Well. How many people are on this board? It's done. We're on. Next. Park Rec Three Board Plan. Oh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Two no's. Two no's? Yep, five yeses. Yep, me and Liam. Okay. Well, Jerry's a no. Paul oh, Frank. Who wants to go here? Park Record Report Planning Commission.